Okay. Hey, this is Michael from My Decorate, uh, painted decorator. Um, this tutorial is going to be about how to remove wallpaper and ceiling paper. So I'm going to show you some of the tools that I'm well, not some of the tools that I will be using. Which this is called a perforator. Perforator, as you can see, this is the handle. Uh, this is the spikes, and the reason for these spikes is I'm going to give you a quick demo. So all the wallpaper here has been removed, but but there is a bit of wallpaper on this bit here. It's a very easy tool to use. But all you just got to do is just, just do that, and I know it's pretty hard to see the holes, but you're going to pierce many, many little holes. And that's a very, very good thing. And the reason why, because when, when you're using a steam stripper to remove the wallpaper, it's, the steam is going to penetrate through these very little tiny holes. And that's why this is so much better than using a scraper and doing it crisscross. That's the worst way of doing it. Perforator is a much better way. So literally, I'll just demonstrate it one more time. Up and down. So it vertically, or you could do it horizontally. It literally doesn't matter what, what direction you do it. Um, just to show you. So through here, you add the water in here. That's where the water gets added into, through this bit here. This, it's already off from the main socket, but soon can I turn the socket on? This is gonna turn on. So you might be able to hear the sound. It's preheated already, so it's gonna heat up in like half a minute at the most. But this is, this is the setup. So while this is heating, um, this is the setup. The steam will come out through here. And once the steam comes out through here, I'm going to just give a quick demo on how to remove that wallpaper. And that is pretty much the tutorial. So let me just position my pop up in a position I'm happy with, comfortable with, like so. And yeah, it's almost heated up because the steam is about to come out. That sound it just means that it's kind of bubbling and it's making its way through. Like that. So you can see the steam. So I've already done it a little bit. So the most important thing is to get rid of the top layer of the wallpaper because once you get rid of the top layer of the wallpaper the layer underneath is so easy and I mean literally so so easy and it's just a matter of keeping it like that for about 15 to 20 seconds in one position just so that the steam can penetrate through the little tiny holes um, used by the perforator. So I know this is not the most exciting thing to watch, but this is going to help like so much. See how easy that comes out? And that's just by removing the top layer first. Because the layer underneath is so easy to scrape off. And if you just, and you can even do this as well, but be careful because it's quite hot. But just do that as, as you go along. You can just even peel it off. And just like slowly slide in, in the opposite direction. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the video on, I'm just going to peel this off like that. And then you're going to see like how quick this is going to change colour. Or it's going to be soaked and wet, so my problem is going to be soaked and wet. And that is how to remove wallpaper.